Okay, right. let's try and get like one question. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. How many siblings do you have? How many do I have? Nine. Oh, you can't take my paper. <laughs> what are their names? Do you want the whole name or yes. their married name, every bit of it? And their made up name. And their made up name. All right. My first sister is Toy Ellen Lund. And my second sister is Phoebe Sue Smith. And Dora K. O uh, Rochester. Then Nick. Walter Wilton. Openshaw, alias Nick, um, Linda Ruth Openshaw, uh, Kinsley, Linda Ruth Kinsley, and then me, you don't want me, you want my siblings, okay, and then Doc, Sydney, Burns, and Scott, and Sam. Burns. Sydney just got married again. So do you have a made-up name? It's just Jan. Just Jan Openshaw. So what were Sundays like when you were growing up? That's a really retarded question. Because we got up, we went to church, we came home from church, went to Sunday school, and then we came home from Sunday school and ate lunch, and then we went back to church for our sacrament meeting. And then, well, and this was before Dad got active in the church, we'd go to Dairy Queen afterward and get an ice cream. And he would always get us a great big ice cream. That was always a fun thing. Other than that, I don't know what we did in, the, in between <laughs> going to church with Laid around in red, or how big was the house that you guys all lived in? How big was the house? Well, it was usually in a state of construction because when I when I first remember that house, what what town? Where it was in Phoenix, in South Phoenix. That's where I grew up. I was born in Mesa and then grew up in South Phoenix. And the house was, I think the floor plan. There was, it had, I guess it originally maybe had three bedrooms. And then they built two more bedrooms on the back and and the one room was big enough that it could have three beds in it, so that's where all the girls slept in that one. And then on the screen porch, Mother had that closed in and made a kitchen out of that. I don't remember what else. And then I think, um, yeah, that was it. So I'm picturing nine people, nine children <clears throat> in the house. Getting ready for church. I guess that's kind of where I was. Did you oh. all just? I'm assuming we all had indoor plumbing at the time, so you're all sharing <laughs> one bathroom. <laughs> all the girls just got ready in your in your room. I mean, was it always kind of this constant state of chaos? You know, I don't remember anything about that. I really don't. Like <laughs> confusion. Yeah. Around. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember that. How did you get to church? Well, we lived, oh, when we first, when I first remember going to church, we met in the, that was close to home. We went, met in the cafeteria at the school, at Roosevelt School. And that's where you went to school? That's where I went to school. And then we went, we built the chapel on the, uh, 6th Street and Southern, and then that was about a mile and a half from us. So we would ride to church, and sometimes we got to walk home. <laughs> what kind of car did you have? Well, we had a Woody for a while, and usually Mama had 
a new car every couple of years. And I remember a 53 Chrysler. And, and then a 55 um, Pontiac. We never had a big car except for that Woody. We always just had a, a car. So we were always... <clears throat> well, my older siblings, they probably went to church on their own. I don't remember going to church with them. So, so were you, you were born in Mesa? I was. I was born in Mesa General Hospital. Same place Kale was born. <laughs> so, <clears throat> can you tell me a story that maybe your mother or your father told you? Be a family story or bedtime story? Where were your grandparents born? My grand, my, my grandfather Nichols was born in Arkansas, and I really don't know where my grandmother Nichols was born. They met in Oaxaca, New Mexico, when they were in the Mormon colonies down there, and. I really don't know where my open child grandparents were born or isn't that crazy? Where my parents? They lived in Mesa, Arizona, but I don't know yeah. where they were born. Um, did you guys take any big trips or vacations that you remember? We mother would take us about every summer over to Los Angeles to the beach. And we'd stay there a week. And uh, we always loved going to the beach. What's your favorite part about it? The sand and the water. <laughs> Did you build and being there? free, pretty just, free there. Yeah. She would just rent a little bungalow, you know, and we would just play. And then one year, I remember, we went on a family reunion to Eureka, California, kind of up north on the beach. And that was really fun because I got to meet a lot of cousins that lived in California that I didn't know. And that was, uh, and there were starfish and, and, you know, stuff like that. So that was really fun. <clears throat> what kind of household chores did you do as a child? I liked to iron, so I ironed. I ironed a lot of clothes. Uh, of course, we had dishes to do, which we fought over every night. <laughs> I remember trying to clean Mother's cast iron frying pan, and we did. We got it cleaned up and shiny, and boy, was she mad. Yeah, it was just getting good, you, you know. took all the seasoning off. <clears throat> yeah, took all the seasoning off. It was just such a fun time. <clears throat> Mostly I did stuff outside. Cleaned the horse corral. Mowed the grass. When you were up? We had ponies. We had ponies. We always had a pony or two. And... Uh, <clears throat> and Nick in FFA, he raised a head of calf he raised. And we had some rabbits. Nick raised rabbits for a time, and we had chickens sometimes. So, and this is in Mesa? No, we <laughs> lived in Phoenix. Okay. I'm just picturing you have a, a really big piece of property or is this just in the back? No, it was probably it was probably just about a, a half an acre actually. And there was a corral in the back and and a big garage 
in the wash house. She had, living in Arizona, she had an outdoor washing machine. You know, it was, I mean, it was out store, out, yeah, outside. And it had a cover over it. And, uh, and the clothesline, and that's <laughs> how she did the laundry. <laughs> you didn't have to wash laundry? Uh, no. No, no, we were not allowed to touch her washing machine. <laughs> kind of remember that about me. Try and sit still. I will try, but it, you can see I can't do it. Uh, I'm just, it'll look distracting. Uh, it, it just looks distracting. Well, of course it does. <laughs> I thought you were a better cameraman than that. <clears throat> I didn't know we were going to have Good. audience here. I know. Do you want me to go? <laughs> I'll go. I'm really interested. <laughs> Yeah, that's a, a chance for that. There's a chance for that. <laughs> what kind of childhood games did you play? So it was mostly you and Doc. What kind of games did you guys play? Well, it was usual back then. We played baseball. We played uh, croquet. Do you just mean outside games or... Whatever game. Red Rover. Red Rover. Marbles. We loved marbles. We loved to play marbles. What are the names of your children? Ooh. Let's see. Cinnamon Glozier. And Kale Steinbring. Did you want the whole name or just the name name? Whatever you want. Whatever you call All right. And then came Gina Hillhouse and Jubilee and Zenith and Benita. How did you come up with those names? Well, I just sat in a dark room and just thought and thought and thought, what can I do to these kids? <laughs> no, Cinnamon... The name came from Mission Impossible. Barbara Bain that played on that, her name was Cinnamon, and I just thought she was the most beautiful thing I ever saw. And that's, and I didn't know, <laughs> I didn't like any other girl names. I thought and thought about names, and I could never come up with one, but Cinnamon was the deal. I'm a huge fan of that name. <clears throat> Let's see, Kale. Kale came uh, from Kale Yarborough, who was a racing guy before it came NASCAR. It was, you know, stock car racing. He was big in that. And uh, Gene would never admit it, but I know he named him after that. And Gina got named from her great grandmother. Eugenia Steinbrink, and um, Jubilee. My sister Sidney Sydney had a, a sister-in-law, and they were about to have a baby, and they her, their last name was Jarman, and they thought Sydney was telling me this. Wouldn't it be so cute to have to name it Jubilee Jarman? And so. I thought, this baby's going to be born in 1976. I think I'll call her America Jubilee. But Jean wouldn't go for it. So Daddy named her April Jubilee. <laughs> and I had a really good friend um, <clears throat> that I worked with. And her name was Benita. And so, and plus we thought Benita was sure Benita was going to be a boy. So Ben was going to be his name. And so it kind of evolved into Benita when she turned out to be a girl. And what about Zena? Well, that's obvious. I wanted a Z name. And everybody's naming their kid Zachary. And so I named him Zena from the Book of Mormon, King, that was a good king. So what 
places have you visited? What places have I visited? Um, well, I've been in every continental state except Alaska, driving a truck, except Alaska and North Dakota. I haven't been to North Dakota yet. Um, some of your favorites? I really like New York State. I thought it was just beautiful. And, um, of course, I love California. Hmm. I guess that's as good as it gets. I liked Florida. I liked Florida when we went there. Of course, we just got to uh, <laughs> Panama City. We didn't get any, I didn't get any lower than that. Um, and Alabama. I like Alabama. What family heirloom do you have? Any family heirlooms? Heirlooms? I don't think so. Nope. Um, describe the most serious illness or accident you have had. Well, I had cervical cancer before I got Gina and the rest of them. Um, but it went away, so that, um, that was pretty serious to me mm -hmm. at the time, but we got over it, so I think that's the worst. Oh, well, I did get bucked off a horse and <clears throat> broke ribs and punctured my lung, and that was kind of serious for a few minutes. When was that? Uh, 96 or 97, I, that's I think. So that's when you lived here in Missouri? Yes. Yes. I was over helping Tim. He asked me to come over and help him with his horse that he got. And uh, it wouldn't let him get on it. So I got on it and was just riding it up and down the field. and. About the time I decided I'd had enough of that, she decided it too and threw me in a blueberry, a blackberry patch. Dug blackberry thorns out of my face for a long time. <laughs> Tell me about some of the challenges you've faced as an adult. Wow, challenges. Um, Hmm. Have I had any challenges? <laughs> I'm sure you've had. <laughs> um. So, where did you meet my father? Well, I was at a party out on the desert one night, and uh, he came. Ripping his truck around, making dust everywhere, you know, just being ignorant. And uh, then after a while, I met him there, and and then he wouldn't leave me alone after that. So that's where it was, out in the desert. I don't know. That wasn't a very good answer, was it? <laughs> That's the only answer I have. It was in Mesa, Arizona. So where did you get married? <laughs> At mom and dad's house in Phoenix, Arizona, South Phoenix, Arizona. Who was at your wedding? Well, my family was there. And uh, Doc brought his first date with Linda. His first date with Linda was there at my wedding that he came to. 50 years ago, and um, my friend Marlene, well, you know, everybody that, everybody in the family was there, I think, and plus friends, and, and it was really fun because in Mama's dining room, she had put up this wallpaper, and it was like 
being in Greece and looking over, looking out into the ocean, you know, and little sailboats and stuff with the arches. And, and so when I'd show those pictures to anybody, they'd say, where did you go? Where did you go? Where were you with it? So that was really fun. <laughs> Follow up and it flew out of my head. Just love that. So the truth was I at your wedding. <laughs> <laughs> no, you were not. And we had already decided we were not going to have kids for a couple of years. And then after three months, when I wasn't pregnant, Jean just had a heart attack until we were. <laughs> And so you didn't come until 16 months after we were married. Did you go on a honeymoon? Yes, we did. We went to New Mexico to Carlsbad Caverns and, uh, and then up to Farmington, New Mexico to see a friend of his there. And I hated Carlsbad Caverns because I didn't have a coat. You were pregnant? <laughs> Um, because it was cold, and and I just didn't do cold very well. Did Jean ever talk about what Jean could have met his father? Did he no, mention it at all? no, because he never knew him. I don't think he ever got to meet him, and. Uh, and he had Conrad, and him and Conrad were pretty good. That's all I know about that subject. All right. So I have one last question for you. Awesome. <laughs> tell yeah. us something we don't know, or tell us something you wish we would ask you. Something I wish you would ask me. Or something that we don't know that you want us to know. Hmm. I can't think of anything you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel like I know it all. <laughs> hmm. You? Because they all are evolved around which sibling is the which of us is your favorite. <laughs> Who is the best baby? Neither. No. The that the, angel the little darling angel was the best. <laughs> Who was the hardest birth? Well, I guess it was Zenith because I had him at home. And it seemed really hard at the time. <laughs> what made you decide to have him at home? Because when I had Kale in the hospital and I was kind of out, you know, that was before we did the natural birth thing. And they wouldn't let me see him. They. I just asked her to bring him over so I could look at him, you know. And no, I have to take him to the nursery. They would not let me see him. So after that, that was... And I just wanted to. I just thought it would be a fun thing to have him at home. And we had a party. Sue was there and Beverly was there. And <laughs> Did you know that I worried about where you had him and I was scared to touch the couch? <sighs> I would never have known that. <laughs> You didn't know I had him on the bed. Where did you have him? <laughs> <laughs> that was so disgusting. <laughs> I really thought that for a long time. Oh, how funny. <laughs> well, kept you off the couch for a while, huh? <laughs> I don't know what I did. <laughs> Too funny. That's crazy what I did. 
what <laughs> six-year-olds think. <laughs> Ooh, she had him in the house. <laughs> well, did he look dirty to you? No, he was clean pink and everything, <laughs> but I knew there was other stuff that had to happen. Right, oh. And where were you? I was with Aunt Sydney. Oh, you were with Aunt Sydney. I don't know where you were. Because I thought she was all there. Maybe not. No. Jubilee and I were with Aunt Sydney. Hmm. Okay. There you have it. Yeah. That's all I have. Um, before you get up and walk away, will you share your testimony? My testimony yeah. of Jesus Christ? Yeah. That I know that. Well, maybe I can't. <laughs> that I know that he lives and I know that he loves us and he wants so much for us to do good and to come home to him. And he's there every step of the way. And I say that in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.